It isn't uncommon to pay for parking downtown, unless, of course, it's a free parking lot. And that's why Nathan Jefferson was arrested Saturday. Police say he was acting as a parking attendant and charging people to park in one of the more popular lots downtown that is free of charge. All new at 6, Chris Sadegi has more on how he duped people with a scam that police see a lot of downtown. There's a lot of different rules and regulations to parking your car downtown. There are permits, payments, and special instructions that come with each lot. But there's at least one spot where parking comes without a price. I've never, I've never paid for parking at the uh, parking lot next to the police department or the municipal court. Jesse Mansfield parked under the I-35 bridge across from APD and didn't pay, and neither did Bobby Mosley. There's nothing indicating that you would have to pay anyone. No, no pay boxes, no, you know, attendance. This is the only sign that says you can't park here from 3 to 5 in the morning. But on Saturday night, police say Nathan Jefferson decided to set up his own little business. He basically was impersonating as a, a parking attendant, telling the victim that he had just started working there and um, the, he was charging five bucks. You see a lot of different ways you can pay for parking downtown. Sometimes you get a ticket, other times you just put your money in the slot. But police say Jefferson kept it simple. He'd see someone park, go up to him and say, five bucks, please. I think it's something that most people would be easily duped on. And it's a trick that works a lot, according to police. These officers were in the lot on Monday afternoon to chase off another man trying to charge for free parking. And APD says it's hard to know how much money Jefferson or anyone else may have made. There's no telling, but, you know, it happens quite a bit. And normally it's only a Class C misdemeanor, but Jefferson went to jail because of previous theft convictions. Still, police say it happens enough that you should pay attention to the signs to make sure your money ends up in the right spot and the right slot. In downtown Austin, Chris Sadegi, KXAN Austin News.